As voters go to the polls in Turkey, we spoke to locals about the country's foreign ties, with a significant part of the population believing the United States is hostile to Ankara, despite both being members of the same military bloc. 90% of the people believe this. Among themselves, people are always talking about how NATO is hostile. People see America in a negative light. The older generation always says it's all an American game. When you look at terrorism in the East or in Israel, all the terrorists have been trained by America, or at least that's how we see it. Because of this, there is a negative perception of the U.S. Superficially, it looks like we're in an alliance with America, but they arm those we view as enemies. That's a divergence. That's why I say we're in a superficial alliance with them. I think the percentage is too high, and I believe biased news reporting is the reason for it. Among countries, there is no friendship or hostility, just relationships based on interests. According to research, about 90 percent of those polled saw America as an adversary. At the same time, over 70 percent of respondents believe Turkey should have good relations with Moscow and been growing political and security cooperation in the Middle East between the states. While a majority also believe Russia supports the Turkish economy amid a rise in large-scale bilateral energy projects, such as the construction of the first-ever Turkish nuclear power plant with Moscow's assistance. Turkish-American relations soured after Joe Biden became U.S. president, following his criticism of Ankara for human rights violation and buying Russian air defense systems. That's as Washington itself has been hesitant to help Turkey militarily, delaying the sale of multi-role aircraft. The U.S. failed to invite Ankara to both its summits for democracy, calling the state autocratic. Biden also hinted at interference in the Turkish elections during his own presidential campaign. Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Arahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. Just want to go into a lesson. And we right around the corner from, you know, all these prophecies coming to pass, man. All the pieces are being laid in place perfectly, you know. As the Apostle Tahar, you know, has coined this year through the Spirit, but Yahweh Shemi was shy, you know, the hopeful year that all the prophecies will be fulfilled. And, you know, it seems like, you know, that's what's happening. All right. So what you seen before this video started was a news clip from RT. And they took a poll of, you know, the Turkish uh, citizenry. And they pretty much said that the U.S. is the enemy. OK, which is prophesied that Turkey is going to be one of those nations that's going to roll on America. All right. So this is a uh, second Ezra nine and one. It says he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, and what are the signs? The prophecies. Okay, we see the prophecies moving, man. Okay, this is just one step closer to, you know, World War III breaking out, okay, and the destruction of Babylon the Great. Okay, so while you have World War III ramping up, they pushing, you know, uh, the Haragma as well. Okay, you see, you know, uh, different news articles you know moving towards that mark okay it's becoming more and more uh mainstream all right that damn devil uh elon musk he's you know pretty much getting ready to release that neural link okay so all the pieces are falling into place man everything is is, is ripe for the picking okay on top of that you got the economic collapse taking place right now you know all these businesses are shutting down. A lot of these, uh, you know, big box stores are closing. Okay, you got a looming, uh, uh, you know, car uh, market collapse. All right. The banking system is collapsing. Okay, so, so everything's in place, man. All right. We pretty much at the end. It says, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he may. And we in those times, man. 
Okay, and to hell with these scoffers out here, you know, that that say, oh, well, these things have been happening. There's always been rumors of war, you know. Oh, they've been saying that war is going to break out for the longest. But you've never had all these signs taking place at once. Okay, just like I mentioned, economic collapse. All right, which the economic collapse encompasses multiple collapses. Okay, it ain't just going to be the financial system, you know, the banking system that's going to collapse. The housing market is going to collapse. A lot of these people going to lose their housing. Okay. You're going to lose your cars. A lot of you people, you are uh, leasing your cars. Okay. You don't own it. You know, you don't, uh, you still making payments on it. All right. So the bank still has the, the title to your car. You're going to lose that. Okay. You're going to lose your job. The jobs are, uh, you know, basically being annihilated man because all these stores are closing down okay and another thing that you see taking place is the crime skyrocketing okay so while you have these things going on you got this war ramping up okay you got these people out here in turkey which turkey is a, a a strong ally of america supposedly right the citizenry feels like america is an enemy okay which eventually Turkey is going to break away from NATO and they're going to turn against the United States. All right. Just like you heard in the news uh, clip, those people want to work closer with Moscow than the United States. And that's a part of biblical prophecy. OK, it says, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, you got this going on at an all time high, man. You got protests breaking out all over the country. You got earthquakes taking place. It's so like you got uh, uproars of the people breaking out all over the world. Okay. You got earthquakes taking place all over the world. And this ain't no 3.3, you know, 2.1 type earthquake. These are, these are powerful earthquakes, man. Okay. And the magnitude of these earthquakes and the frequency continue to increase. Which is just another sign that Yah Bashim Shai is on his way back. Okay, and if you can't see it, then hey, man, you you one of those uh, individuals that's destined to be destroyed. Okay, because it's it's clear, you know. It says, "Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning." And all these things have been prophesied, going all the way back to the beginning. Okay, this is how this current world would end. All right. It says, for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Okay, and that word manifest means to be made plain. Okay, and this is pl it's plain to see what's going on, man. It's plain to see that the allies of America are getting ready to turn against it according to the prophecies of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and the Bible is the only book that's, you know, pretty much giving you the rundown. These people out here... They'll see this news clip and they'll hear, you know, what's coming out. OK, oh, this is how the, the, the Turkish, uh, you know, citizenry feels. OK, they believe that America is the enemy, 90 percent of them. But these people don't really understand what's going on because they don't understand the scriptures, man. So they are saying they might. OK, this is just how the Turkish people feel, you know, but the, the government is a strong ally of the United States. And it's going to stay that way. Not according to the prophecy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. OK, and we know and understand that the Heavenly Father is the one that's in control of everything that takes place out here. So we know that eventually that's going to cause uh, Turkey to turn on America. OK, these, these are one of the, the signs that Turkey is going to turn on America and, and link up with Russia. All right. Another thing they accuse America of is uh, funding all these terrorist organizations, which is true. America's behind that the CIA, the Mossad. All right. They're the ones that's funding these different terrorist groups, ISIS, you know, Al Qaeda. OK, and the list goes on, man. And everybody knows this. OK, <laughs> this is Obadiah, verse seven. It says, all the men of thy confederacy have bought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. So you still got a treaty with Turkey. OK, but you being deceived. They dealing behind your back. OK, they're already purchasing weapons from uh, the Russians. It's going to come to a point where they're going to make a full pivot. They're going to say the hell with you. 
The hell what you got going on over here? We linking up with the Russians and we gonna become your enemy. Okay? And like they said in the, uh, you know, the news clip, one of the turning points for, you know, uh, the U.S. and uh, the Turkey relations was Biden basically declaring, uh, you know, what Turkey did to the, uh, the Armenians, you know, uh, genocide. They didn't like that, man. OK. And even before that, when that damn devil Trump was in power, he declared Jerusalem the capital of the state of Israel. All right. Which Turkey, that's a Muslim country. OK, so they're on board with, you know, the rest of them Arabs. All right. They're against, you know, uh, uh, the, the state of Israel. OK, they, they, they're on the side of the Palestinians and, and the rest of them, them Arabs. OK, so you're being deceived, man. OK, they, they getting ready to turn against you. OK, and they, they going to roll on your ass. Them, them Russian weapons that they buy, they're going to use it on you, man. <laughs> It says, all the men of thy confederacy have bought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. And they're going to prevail against you. You ain't going to win this war, man. All right. You and you are not going to win. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to use these other nations to destroy you. All right. It says, and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee, which the bread is talking about, you know, his aid. OK, these different countries that get uh, uh, monetary aid from you, they laying a wound under you. They, they getting ready to, you know, wage war against you. All right. It says there is none understanding in them. And these people don't know what the hell is going on, man. The, 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 these Babylonians out here, nor do the politicians understand. OK, because, again, they'll see this news clip and they'll 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 disregard it, man. This, 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 this is nothing serious. You know, we don't got to worry about this. Well, this is how the citizenry feels, but the government is different. We, we still got, you know, close ties with, with Erdogan, okay, and any other, uh, you know, Turkish president or Turkish ruler that comes into power, they're going to be cool with America because we have, you know, that relationship with that country. Forget about how the people feel, okay, but they're going to turn against you according to the prophecies of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We just read it, man. Your enemies are your friends, okay? The people that you have a treaty with, they're going to turn against you. That includes your allies out there in Europe, okay? Those 10 horns, just like you read about in Revelation 17 chapter, which is talking about the 10 common markets in Europe, they're going to turn against America, shoot nuclear missiles on this place, man. All right? So basically what's going on is all... The prophecies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai are, are yeah, they come in the past, man, and we see it. We see this happening in real time. Okay, it's no coincidence that this uh, poll has come out. It's no coincidence that the people in Turkey feel the way they do about America, man. All right, this is Ezekiel thirty-eight and one. It says in the word of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai came unto me saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog. The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy against him and Gog and Magog is talking about Russia. All right. It says and say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Shai power. Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. So even though Yahweh Shemi Shai is going to use uh, Russia to help destroy America. OK, I'll be the main nation to destroy America. Yahweh Shemi Shai is against them, too. All right, just like we read in Isaiah the thirty fourth chapter, the scripture, the uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai said, "His indignation is upon all nations." Okay, so just because the Most High gonna use the Russians to destroy America, that don't mean they gonna get off scot free either. Man, they still Edomites; they gotta pay. All right, it says, "I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and will bring thee forth in all thine army, horses and horsemen." All of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So the Russian army is going to get together. OK, they're going to bring out all the tanks, you know, the different uh, 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 vehicles that they have. All right. It says Persia, Ethiopia and Libya with them. And these nations are going to join up with Russia. OK, Persia is already working with Russia. 
the modern day Persians is, is Iran, okay, which America has a problem with. All right, so we already see the prophecies, you know, uh, 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 being lined up. Okay, we see that Yahabashim Yahusha, all he got to do is make a few moves and this thing is going to kick off, man. Okay, Iran is already allied to Russia. America is, is stirring up things between themselves and Russia. And they also got a problem with Iran. Who else has a problem with Iran? Them small hats. Okay, which is uh, America's own, really only ally out there in the Middle East. Okay, so we see this going down, man. It says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. So they're going to have their armies in array as well. They're going to link up with Russia. Okay, it says Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togomar of the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee, which Togomar is Turkey. Okay, they going to link up with the Russians as well. That's why you see this taking place, man. Okay, that's why the citizen tree feels this way. Yahabashim Yahawashai is putting it in their mind, man. Okay, to do what? To fulfill his will. All right? Because at the end of the day, what these, what these people are going to understand perfectly is that Yahabashim Yahawashai is 100% in control of everything that takes place down here, man. That's why you're supposed to fear him. Okay? The whole reason why the Heavenly Father is setting this whole thing up, just like we read in Rev uh, uh, Romans the ninth chapter, he wants his name to be noise abroad, man. Okay? So he, he, he came up with this big scheme. All right? Because you just looking at what, things for face value, what's going on on, the, on the, you know, the political scene, you wouldn't think that Turkey would turn on America. You wouldn't think that these uh, European nations are going to turn on America. You wouldn't think that America's allies would turn on it. Okay? Or they might, you know, stop dealing with them. Uh, uh, you know, when it comes to economics Or they might, you know, sanction them But war is not going to break out But that's exactly what's going to happen Alright, this is Proverbs 20 and 24 It says, man's goings are of the Lord Yahweh Shai. How can a man then understand his own way? Yeah, but at the Heavenly Father is in 100% control, man The reason why the people in Turkey feel the way they do Is because the Heavenly Father is putting it in their mind Because Turkey is going to be an enemy to the United States even though they were one of their main allies, man, they're going to turn against them, okay, and link up with who? The Russians, just like we read in Ezekiel 38 chapter, along with Persia, Iran, okay, Ethiopia, Libya, they're going to join up with them too, man. All these different Arab nations, okay, these, these Muslim nations, they're going, to, they're going to link up with each other and they're going to go against America and against the state of Israel, man, and wipe those two places from off the face of the earth, according to the prophecies of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? And we know that we're closer to this event happening because of the news. All right. This article is, is, is you know, this news clip is a, a, a proof of that. OK, you wouldn't hear nothing like this come out years ago, man. But see, now we are in that time. OK, and we can know we know that this just ain't rumors because America's at war with Russia right now over there in the Ukraine. OK, they actually have troops over there fighting the Russian armies. OK, so they already had war with them. All right. It just remains, you know, uh, to be seen when that war is going to become hot, when it's going to be, you know, fully declared that America's at war with Russia or the Russians is at war with America. That hasn't been declared yet. But behind the scenes, the war has already started. OK, and Turkey is already choosing their side. They 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 on the side of the Russians. OK. According to the prophecies of Yahabashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right. And let's bring this out too. This is Daniel 4 and 17. It says, This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. See, and you Edomites here, here in America, you proud as hell, man. You actually believe that the reason why you in the position that you in is because of your hard work and ingenuity. Okay, yeah, America's so great because, you know, we have all this technology, you know, this vast land is full of resources. We built it up and, you know, we use this land, you know, uh, uh, to its fullest. We made full use of, of the resources here. Okay, we have the strongest uh, military, 
you know, oh, 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 we're, we're, we're a God fearing nation, which that's, that's, that's BS. All right. You don't follow the, 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 the God of the Bible. Okay. But the reason why you in power is because you how about show me I was shy and set your red ass up. It ain't got nothing to do with anything else, man. It ain't got nothing to do with where you from. Okay. Oh, we're, we're, we're Europeans. We're the, we're the, we're the best uh, form of human beings like that, that man that you try to push out during uh, the Renaissance era. Okay. That's all BS, man. The only reason why you in the position that you in right now is because you how about show me I was shy. Put you in that position, man. And as easily as he puts you in there, he going to take your ass out. Okay? And that's what's being prepared. All right? The reason why these things are happening on the world stage is because your Haba Shem Shai is preparing to take your red ass out of power, man. Okay? So that you may know, just like we're reading here, that the Most High rules within the kingdom of men. Okay? You ain't the one that's in control of anything down here, man. All right? It ain't up to you whether you stay in power or not. OK, it ain't up to you whether you are the top nation on earth or not, man. That's all in the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. OK, it says to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men. And that's what you Edomites are. You the base man of the earth. OK, the lowest nation ever to exist. You in a rulership seat, man. Now, how the hell did that happen? OK, because according to Esau's, you know, uh, philosophy, if it's a low level nation down here, they should never be in power. You know, his justification for him being in power is that, oh, you know, I'm the best people, you know, oh, well, we just have so much uh, technology. We have, you know, the, the best way to live. You know, none of these other nations can take us down uh, uh, militarily. You know, none of these nations have gotten on the level that we've been on. So we're the ones that are supposed to be in power. OK. But let's look at your origins, man. Where did you come from before you went up in the outer space? <laughs> OK, before you've been shooting rockets in the air, before you had airplanes, your red ass was in the cave crawling on all fours. OK, looking like a, a beast, man, looking like. Something from the uh, uh, the jungle looking like an ape. All right, you didn't stand on, on on two legs, man. You was you was crawling around, grunting. All right, eating out of your your dead grandmother's skull, man. Okay, wearing your clothes till they disintegrate. You you literally a beast. All right, and now you in the position that you in. Now you proud. Okay, but how about Shimmy I was shy. He he gonna humble your ass, man. He gonna bring you back down to where you belong. All right. This is uh, back in Ezekiel 38 and 6. It says, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togoma of the north quarters, and all his bands and many people with him. So the armies of Turkey are going to link up with the Russians. Okay. It says, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Okay. And Russia is going to be a guard unto these different nations. All right. One of the main ones being Persia. OK, because you have America and uh, the state of Israel link up together to go against it. All right. It says, and after many days, thou shalt be visited in the latter days. Thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel, which have always been waste. But it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land, thou and all thy bands, and many people with thee. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai power, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. And that evil thought is shooting those nuclear missiles on Babylon the Great. Okay? It says, and thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. Well, that's talking about America. Okay. This place has no protection. You know, well, currently right now, they saying that there's a, there's a crisis on the southern border. The reason for that is there's no walls. Okay. So people are just able to come in freely. All right. Well, you go to the north border, the border that the United States has with Canada, it's open. You can just walk across it at, at, at any point. Okay. 
It says, and thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest. And these Babylonians are at rest, man. Okay. Even though they can see that their uh, nation, okay, this country is provoking uh, uh, Russia to go to war. These people ain't got no care in the world, man. What they worried about? They worried about going out Saturday night, turning up, you know. Oh, oh, oh TGIF, thank God it's Friday. It's turn up time. You know, I'm going to get drunk and high, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go home and, and, and watch my favorite show. Well, what's, what's going on with the, the NBA Finals? You know, that's what I'm focused on. These people, ain't, the last thing in their mind is that war is going to break out on the earth and war is going to touch America, man. It says, I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates to take a spoil and to take a prey to turn thine hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited and upon the people that are gathered out of the nations which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land. Sheba and Dedan and the merchants of Tarshish with all the young lions thereof shall say unto thee, Art thou come to take a spoil? Hast thou gathered thy company to take a prey, to carry away silver and gold, to take away cattle and goods, to take a great spoil? Therefore, son of man, prophesy and say unto God, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, power, in the day when my people Israel dwelleth safely, shall thou not know it? And thou shalt come from thy place out of the north parts, thou and many people with thee, all of them riding upon horses. So that's this, this army that's getting ready to be formed, man. Okay, this, this coalition of nations. All right, and Turkey is included in that. That's the reason why you see the citizenry have, having this mindset, man, that America's the enemy. Okay, because they are an enemy. Okay, Turkey is going to turn on America. Whatever treaties they got, they're going to they gonna scrap them, man. And they're going to link up with the Russians and they're going to wage war on Babylon. It says, and thou shalt come from thy place out of the north parts, thou and many people with thee, all of them riding upon horses, a great company and a mighty army. And that mighty army is going to take out America. Okay. Yeah, man. So we almost out of here. Okay. All we got to do is continue to watch, continue to pray. Continue to beg Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai for mercy. You know that we may be spared from these things that are coming down upon the earth, man. Okay. This is a Romans 13 and 11. It says in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Okay. So I just want to go into that. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Hashem Abu double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Shalom.